But damn! Now we're gonna react to Slayer War Ensemble, requested by Pepsi Man. Uh, but before that, make sure to like, subscribe, put on the notification bell so you don't miss a thing, and tell your mama. Let's go. And tell your mama. Tell your mama, man. Is there? Yeah, clap. Yeah, that's tight. Tight uh, kick drum. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, pause real quick. But you see how the rhythm was there, right? I mean, what he was doing at the end of the song, he's, he's right away. You know what I mean? Right away with it. Like, in the rhythm, but also give you some crazy shit. Alright, pause it. <laughs> I will I will give you some bell though, right? I'll give you some bell. Guitars on, on Slayer aren't as overshadowing as the other band. So mm -hmm. there's a lot more room for the drummer on this band. Yeah, that's true. I'll give some bell in there. That's true. That is true. That I, hey, undeniably. I appreciate that bell. It's great, but I still think Igor is uh, is like a powerhouse compared. Igor is like a. We all we all have our preferences. We all have our preferences. <laughs> that is true. But yeah, you're right. I'm not paying attention so much on the riffs. But maybe that's because exactly. I'm looking at the drums, or is it just that the riffs aren't maybe that? I would say because the riffs the riffs aren't as powerful as the other band. Mm -hmm. Me personally, even though I like Slayer better. Mm. And by the way, the band we're talking about is Sepultura in the Arise era. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and 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 to me, it's the difference between jazz right and funk music right funk music is more structured jazz is kind of all over the place right and it works when it comes to jazz because you have some of the best musicians ever when it comes to rock music you do want it to be a tad more structured because you let it get too off the rails you kind of never know what you're going to get so slayer is more off the rails with the guitar parts the other band that he was talking about is more structured with it Every yeah. four, there's, a, there's a, a, a consistent pattern for that four bars, and then when they switch, there's another consistent pattern. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. This is more jazzy with the rock and roll, and I don't, to me, it doesn't work like that. Mm. This is the riff that I. Yeah, yeah I got you. 
that rip was the best one thus far, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it was it was a centerpiece, right? Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't the accent, the 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 octave, but it was that yeah. pattern. Like, yeah. 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 That was a centerpiece so far. Yeah. that the guitars are low though in the mix could that be i mean um i guess the the, the background guitars yeah is that what you're saying mm, yeah that foreground one seems fine but but again i don't know if i have the best headphones so yeah me either i don't know yeah the, ba uh, uh, the background ones yeah yeah the background ones yes one more time yeah. The background guitars, yes. Yes. <laughs> but now they're high, though. I don't know. Yeah, that was nice. Nice. All right. All right. Yeah. Let me go first. <laughs> All right, I love Slayer. I love Slayer. I thought that was pretty good. Um, we we kind of already said what we thought about the guitar parts. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I thought yeah, that yeah. It, it left a lot of room, and it was like kind of more jazzy. It didn't really give me a lot of structure, but somehow that's kind of what I like about Slayer. You know what I mean? It's like it's a lot. It's a little bit more free for all. But I love I, I love the drummer. You know what I mean? To me, this is one of the best drummers of all time. So. I'll give this song a 7.8. 7.8. You know, I agree. Slightly it's not, above average. Go ahead. It's not the best Slayer song I've heard. But I will say this, though. Even the worst Slayer song, it, for me, is better than what we heard before this, which was uh, Miguel Santos or whatever his name was. I would listen to the worst metal song over any of the modern day music. But uh, yeah, the drummer is good. No way near Igor Cavalera from 1991. In my book, because he was a monster. In my book. In my book, in he my was book. a monster, but this guy was pretty good too. Just not the beast that was Igor Cavalera. But uh, uh, there was one good riff in there. Uh, but yeah, decent song. I'll rate it 6.3. <laughs> All right. And I gave it a 7.8. Uh, well, you the, know, it's, if we, it's about we, somewhere in between there. If we know? rearrange a little bit, we will get the right score. <laughs> but uh, 